Hey, my goodness me. As you beekeepers out there would know as you're trying to expand, you spend your life painting. As you can see, the wife's got all excited and she said, you're not bloody well coming to the service station on the way to the bee site with all that paint and shit over yourself. So she's gone and dressed me up a bit pretty. I've still kept me painted over boots, so you know, at least it looks like I might be doing something constructive. Oh, I don't know. I was down Adelaide dropping off some honeycomb and caught up with my daughter. And she goes, ah, something about you can judge a man by his shoes. And she says, well, at least it looks like you're working. Anyway, we've got 50 queens to install and we're gonna split off some hives. I've been flat out painting bases and lids and boxes and God knows. <sighs> I'm over painting for a, for a minute. But the Knee Plus boys happened to actually give me some stuff to try out. And I thought, well, that's bloody opportune, isn't it? Cause I'm th about 20 odd boxes short. Everybody knows you're not supposed to have new paint on your boxes cause the ladies don't like that fumes and carry on. Not that I paint the inside of my wooden boxes. I've got a heap of other boxes for the wintering that I'm gonna put together. But these guys um, reached out and said, shit. So I want help. Here's an opportunity to chuck it into the mix and see what happens. Kind of cool that it comes with all packaged up like this. So I'm guessing they send this crap all around the planet. Oh, get out of the box. <laughs> We've got the little ends and the long bits. They're pretty heavy. I don't know. I'm a bit, I don't wonder how they go for in, you know, the insulation part of things. I've read a bit of research saying that, it's, that that's their downfall, but. Hell, anyway, they're here now. So here we go. We'll see if we can slap one together. <laughs> Pretty cool, they even send you the screws. All right, that was pretty groovy. I was looking at them last night and I don't know, I don't know if you can see that. I'm not sure whether they've nipped all the ends off or whether they're a special plastic screw so you can't, can't screw your bloody box to bits. So I'm assuming that you have to drill a pilot hole. I don't know, can you see that? No tip. It's a tip free zone. Oh, oh, oh. That'd be a crappy job, wouldn't it? Remember the poor bastard with his little woman snippers going tuck, tuck, tuck. Surely they'd come out of the machine like that. Anyway, I'm guessing they're a plastic screw. Fabulous. So, pretty cool. I mean, it's obviously, bee boxes are square-ish, rectangle-ish. You know, is that a rectangle? It's a rectangle. So you've got two long sides and two short sides. I mean, that's pretty good. And you've got your little recess for your frames, obviously. Try to put them both on the same thing, otherwise you get yourself all excited. So we just got our, well, this is the one I put on the bottom. Slip this in here. And that one, now just as I said, make sure you don't put them back together like that, because otherwise that could be very silly. <laughs> Gotta have this bit at the same time. Stick that top on. Well, that's pretty straightforward. And it's reasonably idiot proof, because I've got pilot holes here for me, so I can't actually screw them in the wrong place. <clears throat> I guess you could get really excited and get yourself a you know, like an A, what are they called? A T-square thing? No, what are they called? A square? But anyway, oh, I don't think you need to get that excited, but I'm sure you probably can. But you got yourself a little drill. I have no clue what size drill that actually is, but it's smaller than the screw. So <laughs> I'm assuming it's the pilot holes drill, but anyway, that was in my cupboard, so. And it's not even blunt, which I thought was pretty groovy. Probably will be after this project. So you just want to make sure it's reasonably up and down. Draw your pilot holes in here. I discovered you gotta get the right setting on your drill, your little electric screwdriver drill or whatever it is. Otherwise you can keep screwing and it pulls the bloody thread up and you strip your hole and then the whole exercise is a little bit pointless. I suppose you'd have to put an ocker strap around it then if you stuff it all up. But anyway, so make sure you got your setting. I only did one hole like that just to, just to let everybody know that I didn't completely screw it up. Try and make sure you're all nice and square. See that little? So then it just goes nice and tight, but doesn't keep turning. Oh, it's a bit rude actually, isn't it? Sounds like they've had baked beans. Oh no, that's a terrible joke, wasn't it? I reckon they ought to clean up reasonably good too after you've used them. Look at that, it's pretty stable already. I 
I was out here full arsing around last night doing a few. And I thought, man, that's a fair bit quicker than a wooden box. So, I don't know. Well, it's a little bit dearer too, so, you know, I don't know. I guess you've got to weigh all that up, don't you? Right, so that's your box stuck together pretty quick. Obviously, you've got to have your frame hooker uppers. The other thing I thought was pretty cool is you've got yourself a base. This is the vented base. Apparently, you can get a base with no vents. Then you can get a base that's actually got no air hole so you can carry your honey home but anyway one thing at a time <laughs> but i thought that was pretty cool at least that's not going to get eaten by the termites hey that's pretty bloody tough i reckon yeah anyway well i don't know we'll see <laughs> right now i don't know what the rules are but that seemed a bit slippery dip to me so i decided because they give you these extra screws that you can slap another screw this way if you want to get excited and because it looks like there's another holes here but i don't think that's going to be too i might save that for later so i'm going to screw the box to the base so then it can't escape this whiz down here holy gosh i'll probably ask for a backup they see this but anyway i guess you could screw them from underneath if you want to be pretty but then i don't know how you'd get it off if you need to change it I don't know, we got are we timing this? There's the base unit. The other thing I thought was kind of cool, and they're actually pretty jolly heavy by the time you get to that bit. Whew, they come with these little travel doors. They gotta lock the little ladies in there. Well that could be a tongue depressor if all else failed. Uh, right, now, enough foolery. The other thing that I thought was interesting to hook the lids and the boxes together. They've got the old blooming metal clips, which I think is pretty groovy. I mean, I guess you could use the jolly straps, the hem straps like we've got on the wooden ones there. But anyway, this is what they've done. But the cool thing I was thinking, or I noticed last night, is because they've got all the holes already pre-marked for you, at least the bloody things will line up. Because normally when you've got the old wooden boxes with these clips, you're wriggling them and stuffing about, trying to move the screws into the right spot. Because you, oh, no, no, you haven't got a template to put them perfectly on everyone. I don't know whether this is going to be 100% accurate, but it would appear to me that they're all going to be actually the same. But as long as you put the screw in the right spot, or I put the screw in the right spot. So they've got themselves some little pre markety bits. And then all you've got to do is you've got to do your little pilot holes in here. Now, just, you've got to love them. They think of everything. They've even given you the other screws for this bit. They're not real bush bee man, these folk, because I mean, I would have just used all the same screws, but these have got nice rounded heads. So it's like, oh, I tell you what, looking after me, I suppose you could buy your own screws if you wanted to, but they seem to come in the packet. So I thought that was pretty cool. Saved me a problem. They just probably wanted them to look cool. Imagine the guy who made these up, first of all, in his yard, and he was, I bet you he was a farmer, dude. He would have had some crazy thick fence and wire. He was thinking to himself, how am I going to hold my hive together? And he was out in his shed, in his vice, and he would have bent that lip around there and bent that about that bit and went, oh, that's pretty cool. As far as I can read, apparently he sold the idea for a fortune. Oh, all I need to do is come up with some cool idea that I could just sell out and be done. But no, it's like the guy who made the clothes peg. Now, not very elegant, a clothes peg, because the old clothes pegs, and now they've got spring-loaded clothes pegs. Apparently he was worth billions, so, ah, I don't know. It's not my lot in life, though, is it? Actually, we're not up to that part. That's a little bit later on. That's when the lad goes inside and does something else. <laughs> Look at that, I tell you. Up, oh, quick, hold on, get in there. Behave yourself. Oh, oh behave yourself. And there it is. Ta-da! Straight into service. All it needs is some frames in there and we're done. Don't even have to paint the damn things. <laughs> I don't know. If that works, I reckon to... Hell, I don't know. If you could actually justify it and it works, you know, like if the bees like them, well, it's bloody quick. <laughs> I'll give it that. No painting. I like that idea. 
Hello! You might be surprised to know that I've actually tried this out before I got this excited and I've got one over there with some bees in, so, and they seem to be quite happy. I mean, really, other than my concern for, like, insulation properties, I don't know, it seems like a pretty bloody good system to me. Uh, we will see. Oh! So this is my first attempt at trying out these little boxes. The girls are still early in the morning here, as you can tell by the sun's just coming up. Now, if we're really quiet, we can sneak up on them. So welcome to my little test yard. <laughs> I've got a paradise box. I've got a wooden box, which isn't all that new, although that's reasonably new, but the base and the lid isn't really new. And now we've got a knee plus box in here. So I don't know, I'm not sure how many other boxes there are out there, but we're having three a go anyway. If we're really quiet, the lad comes around the back here, we'll open up the lid and we'll see whether they're still in there or not. They were in here yesterday, happily flying in and out, so. I haven't actually checked the brood pattern. As you can see, I haven't got my bee suit on or a smoker, so this is a little bit ad-libbing or whatever it's called. So, come over here and we'll have a look. Shh. The bloke didn't even bring a hive tool, so hopefully it's not stuck here yet. Here we go, ready? Shh. Here they are. I don't know that I want to talk too much. They might know I'm here. Whoop, there's one in my ear. <laughs> Anyway, they're still alive and they've been in here for a couple of weeks, so that's a good start. Get off! <laughs> cool, so we'll just put them back together so we haven't been stung. Anyway, that was my sample box to see whether I'd actually implement them into a bigger yard. I guess it's a little bit cheating because it's under this tree, so, but, yeah, well, anyway. We will see! <laughs> I figure it'll be a good experiment. I mean, we've got about... I'm going to put about 18 or 19 in this actual apiary. I've got a couple in the yard here just for the heck of it. And um, I don't know. Come along and we'll see how they get on. I reckon that's the quickest, easiest box making exercise I've ever done. So from a human point of view, it's pretty bloody awesome, but all we gotta do now is find out whether the bees like it or not. Because if, if they're not happy, I won't be happy, will I? So time will tell.